Hi, I'm Tadiwa Rusike. I'm a journalism and media studies student at Rhodes University. I am doing um, television four, and I'm originally from Pretoria, and I'm 22 years old. Young and you're a black woman. There's like an insistence on like your hair. Um, one of the first times I cut my hair was like very young, because uh, both my mom and my dad are from Zim and schools in Zim required everybody to cut their hair. So that was one of the first times that I ever cut my hair. I can't even remember because it was that long ago. But as like a grown up, I remember it was like maybe grade 11. I cut my hair because I just was so sick and tired of it and I grew it out for like another two years. And then like the last time that I cut it all off was in first year. And I haven't grown my hair out again since then. I feel like when I have short hair, it's also like very identifiable, like, hey, there's that girl with the short hair or like the girl with no hair. So I think it's become like a part of who I am. Sometimes they tend to assume that because I have short hair, I might not be into men or like those are the sort of like assumptions that I get or like um, they'll, they'll think that I'm like masculine presenting. Um, not having hair actually does require a lot of vulnerability because a lot of the times you don't have something to hide. Like, let's say like I, on days that I wear wigs, I can easily hide whatever I'm feeling insecure about behind a wig. But when you have short hair, you just have to wake up and just walk around with your like hair, like with your head just like that. 